What's going on, everybody? Hope you're having a good weekend so far. So as some of you, some of you know, uh, I often recommend people check out Weeble when they're using Robinhood. When you use them hand in hand, they kind of pick up where the other has left off. You know, one has some things that the other doesn't have and vice versa. So for those of you who primarily use uh, Weeble to buy and sell your, your stocks on, I want to show you how to do a quick... Uh, stop order you know a stop loss there's two ways to do it when you're buying a stock you can set it up then you just click on the stock you want to buy hit trade and then scroll down a little bit and select the take profit stop loss switch right here and the take profit order that's going to be your higher number uh, that's going to be the bigger number out of the two and that's going to be where you would like to take your profit just like it sounds right so for me with the stock if i'm just planning to hold it for the short term and, and make a, a certain amount of profit i might set it at like 300 or something something like that you know what i mean do 300 and then a stop loss is going to be for me personally i like to set it just below what i paid for it the closer you set it to the price that you buy it the more likely it is that the stop loss is going to be activated and then it's going to sell. And if you want to buy it again, you're going to have to keep rebuying it every time that happens. So if you set it a little bit, a little bit further than just a few cents or a dollar or two, if you go a little bit further, maybe like five, ten bucks, that'll allow a little bit of room for it to dip down and then continue rising. And you won't have to keep rebuying it. In theory, that's how it'll work. Set to 270. Time enforced. If you want it just for today, you enter today. Um, if you want that to be however long it takes, you know, set it till set it to good till canceled. GTC. Hit buy after you enter your quantity and all that. Okay, that's one way to do it. The other way to do it is click on one of your stocks that you have, hit close, and then hit take. Profit stop loss. On on this screen here, your uh, your top one's gonna be the lower number. You know, set your stop loss price. Whatever you want it to be. Pretty straightforward. Time and force. And then just hit place order. And that's all there is to it. And so real quick while I'm, while I'm here. Um, for the new traders. Who have been seeing the post where I say. You know you need a paper trade. You should probably start paper trading. That's practice trading. If you don't already know that. You just hit more on your home screen on Weeble. Robinhood doesn't offer this feature. Go down to the bottom. You got paper trading right here. And you can set your amount by hitting this top right button. You can set the amount of money you have. And I usually recommend that new investors set a realistic number. Maybe set set it to the amount of money that you have. So you can uh, mimic, you know, what, what plays you might actually be making. And you can experiment this way. You can try different things. As you can see here, I got PSEC. That's a monthly dividend stock. They pay six cents per month. And so I just wanted to see how much money this could generate in a year. So I bought $3,000 worth of PSEC. And I was actually pretty surprised at the results. Since the time I bought it, it has gone up 51%. And it estimates the annual return to be 103%. But that number keeps rising. That's how much I've made in the in the rise of the price itself on the stock. Thirteen hundred dollars and two hundred and seventy one of that has been in dividends. But the dividend payment for PSEC is six cents per month for each share. Not all stocks pay a monthly dividend, and not all stocks even pay a dividend, but typically the stocks that do pay them will pay out quarterly. Every three months. And so that's how you get to the paper trading. There's also another way to get to it. 
Got to come down here, hit the menu button on the bottom right, slide it down, and then you have paper trading right there as well. And to the new traders, even if you're not a new trader, you could be, you could have been investing for a few years. I still recommend you paper trade, try things out, experiment, and that's how you'll uh, hone in your skills. I right, hope y'all have a beautiful day. Make those boss moves, baby.